This video will demonstrate how to install the EXOS2 version of OnStep V4 Lite. Before installation, unplug the connector of the right ascension motor, and then insert the short motor wire into the motor socket to facilitate subsequent installation. First install the right ascension motor, insert the synchronizing wheel onto the rotating shaft of the equatorial mount, leaving a gap of about 2 mm between the wheel and the equatorial mount, and tighten the wheel fixing screws with an Allen wrench. Take out the right ascension motor assembly and install the 16 tooth synchronous wheel on the motor shaft. There is no need to tighten the fixing screws for the time being. Then put the 160 tooth synchronous belt on the wheel. The fixing nut has been pre-installed on the motor bracket. Now place the motor into its mounting position. Insert the long hexagonal socket screws through the equatorial mount fixing holes and tighten the screws. Be careful to keep the motor bracket close to the equatorial mount when tightening the screws. After fixing the motor, fine-tune the 16-tooth synchronous wheel back and forth so that the two wheels and the belt are in the same straight line, and then tighten the 16-tooth synchronous wheel with an Allen wrench. Use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the four screws fixing the motor. Now the motor can slide up and down. Pull the motor down by hand to keep the timing belt tight, and then tighten the motor fixing screws. At this point, the installation of the right ascension motor is completed. We continue to install the declination motor, and also insert the 48 tooth synchronization wheel onto the rotating shaft of the equatorial mount. Leave a gap of about 3 mm between the synchronization wheel and the equatorial mount. Use an Allen wrench to tighten the synchronization wheel fixing screw. Take out the declination motor assembly, slide the flathead hexagon socket screw into the notch on the front of the motor bracket, and install it into the second slot. Install the 16 tooth synchronous wheel on the motor shaft without tightening the fixing screws for the time being. Then put the 150 tooth synchronous belt on the wheel, insert the motor bracket from under the equatorial mount, put the gasket on the screw, and then fix the motor bracket firmly with hand tightened screws. The motor bracket needs to be close to the equatorial mount. After fixing the motor, fine-tune the 16-tooth synchronous wheel back and forth so that the two wheels and the belt are in the same straight line, and then tighten the 16-tooth synchronous wheel with an Allen wrench. Use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the four screws fixing the motor. Now the motor can slide left and right. Pull the motor out by hand to keep the timing belt tight, and then tighten the motor fixing screws. At this point, the installation of the declination motor is completed. Now let's install the control box. Align the tracking indicator light on the control box with the opening on the bracket, unscrew the four screws corresponding to the fixing holes of the bracket, then fix the control box to the bracket through the screws, Plug the two connectors into the control box, respectively, and organize the wiring harness. Finally, use an aviation connector to connect the two motors. The kit is now installed. Thank you for looking.